Do I look cool? Does my collar need to be down? Yes. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be making a bedside pouch. It'll hang off the side of your bed so you can put whatever you need. It's like perfect for your dorm. Let's get started. The reason this is as long as it is is because it has to go underneath your mattress. So that's why I'm going 53 inches in the middle plus an additional 17 inches on each side. So I'm making this for a double-sized mattress. If you are making this for a smaller twin size or even a queen or a king size, you will just have to adjust your length accordingly. So to start, I'm gonna line up all of my corners and we're gonna pin them together. All right, next, I'm going to take a cup. I'm gonna lay it down and then I'm going to draw my rounded corner and I'm going to just trim. There we go, nice and round. And I'm actually gonna finish the edges before I stitch them all together. Felt is a pretty thick material. So for this project, I've actually switched my needle to a denim needle, which is a heavier needle. It's probably not going to break. And if you're having trouble finding a needle for jeans or denim, check the description box below. You can find one there. I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch. All right. Oh, this looks really nice. So we are now going to start with our smaller pouch. So if we're gonna divide this into four pouches, that means we need to have three stitch lines. All right. So these two pouches are gonna be 15 inches wide. You know, one of these pouches can have magazines and the other one can have your laptop or books or whatever. Do people even still have magazines? My stitch lines are marked, so I'm gonna pin these two pouch pieces together. I'm all pinned up. I'm gonna bring this over to the machine now and we are only gonna stitch these two lines. Oh my God, I'm so excited with how this is turning out. All right, now that our pouches are almost finished, we're gonna attach this to our bottom layer. So I'm gonna start by pinning. So much pinning. All right, we are all pinned together and you can really see our bedside pouch taking shape. We have two at the top, four at the bottom. So now we're going to move over to the machine again and we are going to stitch this middle stitch right here. All right. We are gonna finish the edges with a zigzag stitch. Most of this is gonna be underneath the mattress. So really the edges that you're only gonna see are say from like here to here. And all I'm gonna do is zigzag stitch the entire way around. And now that we're approaching the corner, I'm gonna take this a little slow. Well, I hope you're enjoying this tutorial, and if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots of cool projects coming up. And backstitch, because we don't want these threads going anywhere. So we've got one side finished, and you're gonna do this again on the other side. So you've got bedside pouches on both sides of the bed, and now you have a place to put your books, your phone, your laptop, perfect for any room, especially a dorm.